guys, Will Terry here, and this video is going to be called something to the effect of uh, questions to ask your printer. Um, I'm just getting back from a bike ride. This is my little recumbent bike set up here, and uh, not that you care, but I've been riding my bike every day, pretty much every day since April. So, um, yeah, I, I figured that, you know, a lot of you guys... Um, a lot of illustrators, artists, even if we're working freelance or, or whatever we're doing, a lot of times we'll end up doing our own indie projects. And because of that, we'll end up needing to work directly with a printer. So I thought I'd, I'd basically give tips um, and, and things for working with a printer. And I'm actually headed there right now to do a press check um, for the, the book project that I did called Little. And... Uh, my phone. I'm not going to answer that right now. So I'll just turn that off. Um, so, yeah, and one of the things I'll, I'll start out by just saying is, and this isn't a really a question for a printer. I mean, I guess it is because you're asking for a quote. But um, just to give you an idea, and I don't think I talked about this on another, on another uh, vlog, but um, when I when I went to to get my prints done that I've been selling. Um, at conventions, one of the things that uh, I did was I went and priced at a few different printers. And the first one that I went to, they they answered all my questions. They set me at ease. They were a very professional organization and operation, and they had the right paper. Everything just felt just right. But when the quote came in, it just felt a little bit high, and I didn't really have anything to base that on. It just sort of felt that way so I definitely decided you know and I, I knew I was gonna get some some other bids but the printer that I ended up going with press media actually came in at half of what the other printer is now I'm not saying that they'll they'll always come in at half of every printer that you ever go to because they probably won't but I couldn't believe how much better their price was I was expecting something pretty similar to the first price just figuring well this is gonna be expensive more expensive than I thought and it was, I was very pleasantly surprised. So um, one of the hardest things to do is once you, you, you know, you, you start to work with a business, you start to form a relationship, um, is to then, you know, give them the bad news, like, hey, I'm not gonna be going with you, because often they'll follow up, and, you know, they'll want to, they'll want to find out what you, you know, are you, are you gonna use this, are you gonna, are you gonna get started on this project? No, we're not, because you were about double, <laughs> you know? Um, so anyway, about to head in right now, almost here, and uh, we'll ask some of the people there some other questions. Okay, I'm here at uh, Press Media, and let's go on in. And uh, we're not supposed to sell them anything. Hey, well. Hey. If you don't want to be on camera, I'll blur your face out. <laughs> Hi, Trista. Hello. So you're in for your... Uh... <laughs> Picking up product today. Yeah, picking up all kinds of stuff. So, anyway, just making the vlog here. Okay. So, all right. All right. So here we are at the printer, and look at here's some some of the sheets. These are this is the press that they're being printed on. This guy here probably doesn't want to be on film. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It's so cool to see this. Anyway, pretty cool to see all this stuff happening here, and uh, just kind of checking in. Also, in the, in the book process, there's um, I have 24 page signatures, so they, that's what you're seeing right here. All these pallets of paper, like that's only I think that's one, two, three, four, five, six. I think there's 
there's 20, there's 200 and some pages, 200 and, I don't know the math, but there's each one of these is 24 pages because there's a front side and a back of that sheet. And there's one, there's one, two, three, four, five, six spreads on each sheet there. Hi. Hi. And so, and then there's, there's uh, six spreads on the back. So that's 12 spreads times two pages is 24 pages on each one of these. Okay guys, um, I was going to try to get an interview from one of the guys over at the printer. This is a few days later and we, our schedules didn't line up and I couldn't get a hold of him. But he told me a really cool story to go along with um, this video and uh, you can also see that I'm back in my garage again and uh, that is my car um, so I'm gonna tell you his story but um, I'm just getting ready for uh, Palm Springs Comic Con coming up in two weeks and so I thought I'd show you some of the stuff that I've been doing since the last one and I'll add this to the playlist um, the uh, the Comic Con playlist, all my advice on um, doing Comic Cons. First piece of advice I would give you is own an old car. This is a 2004 uh, Mazda minivan. It is tan, and I don't get any I don't get any cred for driving it, but it has been paid off for many many years, and we actually just got another car. So I'll show you this amazing car. This one right here is, you can see that it's, it's kind of a beater too. Paid cash for that. And the reason that I want to tell you about this is a Grand Vitara. And uh, it's got 100,000, a little over 100,000 miles on it. Still got a lot of life left in it. But if you're gonna, if you're gonna be an entrepreneur, you have to delay gratification. You, you know, I could have bought a new car. I could have two new cars. I could have probably have three new cars in the garage, and be leveraged like crazy with credit. I don't have a car payment, and that allows me to buy prints and to to experiment and to play around and to do um, other businesses like our SBS business, which which took a lot of money to get that started, um, and you know it's really paying off, and so. If you want to do stuff like this, you know, a lot of people will say, well, I just don't have the money. And then they're driving this really nice car. And I'm like, you do have the money. You're driving a nice car instead. Here's something that I picked up the other day. So for you guys that supported my Kickstarter, thank you so much. Here's, here's the, the uh, poster prints for Little. And uh, I just got those back from the printer. So here's a stack of those right there. I'll be sending those out and then I had a bunch of them folded somewhere. Oh, here they are. Um, well, I'm not going to get into them right now, but I had them fold a bunch because in the Kickstarter, I said that it's a folded poster, so it goes along with it. Um, so anyway, let me, I'm kind of rambling right now, but let me tell you the story um, that my uh, printer told me. And this is on saving money at your printer, things that you can do. He had a job one time where he wanted to get a book printed and he's like, he just told the printer I want it to be um, 9 by 11. I think it was 9, or 9 by 11 and a half or something like that and the printer's like, okay, cool. And he's like, he's telling his printer, like, I want to save money, I want to get the best price, so be competitive, I'm going to price this at other printers and stuff like that. And anyway, long story short, he gets the job back, you know, he told his printer he wanted to save money he gets the the job back and then he finds out as he's as he does his press check he sees tons of wasted paper cuz when they print when they printed those posters over there they printed those two up <clears throat> um, but when they print my 8x10s they can run 8 on one sheet so 8 of those fit on one sheet and uh, it's that's pretty much maximize the sheet well he found out if he would have gone a quarter inch smaller on his book they could have run four up or something like that instead of two up or something and it would have saved him four thousand dollars so sometimes a, a printer 
will often act like a computer. If you tell, them, tell it what you want, it will give you exactly what you ask for. Sometimes you have to be creative in the way you ask, like, I'm willing to change my paper, I'm willing to change my paper size, I'm willing to change a lot of things. Tell me, I want you to strategize with me and help me get spend the least amount of money getting the highest quality. Um, and some will do it, I guess, and some won't. Um, you know, some might. I would imagine if you caught somebody at the wrong time, right before they're going to go on vacation or or at the end of the day or something, you might have them spend a little less time. They might be a little less enthusiastic. So, whatever. Anyway, a um, couple other things. This is a, a Darth Maul that, uh, that, that uh, if you've been watching my other videos, that one's going to go up on top of our spinning racks. So that's brand new. And then, doing a little DIY project here. And what this is, is I got these tubs from Costco for $7 each, so they were on sale. And making a false bottom in this one. And then, um, I made a little lip right here, you can see with this little dowel. And when this goes down in the bottom there, um, it will keep the prints. That's where, th th these are going to hold our prints, because we've got too many now for these, these we're going to retire these plastic ones. Also, these are threatening to break. They're really brittle plastic, whereas this black stuff is a di different type of plastic. So, anyway, uh, that's what's been going on, and hope you enjoyed this video. And um, I will probably do another follow-up video on what happened at uh, Palm Springs. So, check that out, and I'll add it to the playlist. Ooh.